The 15 bullet holes on this white Ford van tell a grim tale of how 20-year-old Karina Andrews, a mother of one, was fatally shot while she was out having a good time with her friends. Andrews was among a group of five persons that were socializing at Star's restaurant on Saturday night when sometime after 11 o'clock, the group became suspicious of someone who was also at the restaurant and decided to head home. But little did they know that they were being trailed by two men with malicious intentions. Our investigation so far revealed that the victims had just left a popular spot in Belapan in a van and were making their way home to the Rowan Creek area. When they were approached by an SUV and uh, the occupants of that SUV fired shots at them. And one of those gunshots caught Karina Andrews in the head, killing the 20-year-old on the spot. Her mother-in-law, Dorita Galvez, says Andrews was like a daughter to her. But more importantly, she was the mother of her one-year-old grandson, who will now have to face life without his mother. We lost a true gem. We lost her mother. She was a daughter. Daughter-in-law. She was my son's best friend. She was everything to us. This is a big loss for my family, for Karina's family. I can't explain how we feel. I just, this was a big, big loss. I feel like it's just a dream. But what can we do? I can just try and hold up for my son, for my grandson, because a one-year-old baby is left without a mother. Galvez says that her son begged Andrews to stay home that night, but she insisted on going out to cool off after a hard day of work. And according to Galvez, that's how she ended up babysitting Andrews' infant child. I saw Karina the day before she did, minutes before she passed away because she came here. I had the baby. I came from Independence and I stopped at her workplace and I talked to her and I told her I would be at my mom. I came to my mom, I called my son and I told him, I'm here, so bring the baby so I can get him a little. The, I got the baby. The baby was with me, Karina came. She and my son came to pick up the baby and she wanted to go out. My son didn't want her to, but I told him, let her go and watch the baby. She needs a little break, she just came from work. And that's the reason she went out. As for why this young mother was gunned down, according to Commissioner of Police Chester Williams, the motive behind the brazen shooting is gang-related. However, it's unclear if Andrews was indeed the intended target. Perhaps she could be, and there are other persons who we believe could have been the intended target. And uh, we do believe that the motive is gang-related. You will know that we have, um, over the past year, we have had a number of incidents in Rowing Creek involving the different groups. Um, we had done some mediation and had quelled it to some extent, but it seems like it went away its ugly head again. And so we certainly are on the grounds making sure that we do what needs to be done to avert any possible retaliation. While police were to douse the heated gang rivalry that claimed Andrew's life, her mother-in-law says she will be praying for the gunmen that took away so much from her family. I just want the person to know that they took a mother that the baby needed. A one year old, well, one year, three months, my grandson had. She was a mother. She loved her baby. He was everything to her. Everything Karina did was for my grandson. And I just pray. I pray for whosoever did this to her just keep them in my prayers but I just want them to know they took something big from us. Investigators have retrieved surveillance footage from the crime scene and are in the process of bringing charges against the suspects in custody. Reporting for Love News, I am Vijay Alvarez.